large scale testing. Now, what we hear every night is that the test that there are millions of tests available. And yet um, we're, we don't have that pinprink blood test that you can just sort of get, you know, at your local doctor and know in 15 minutes. But they're working yeah, great on question. it. Yeah, they're working on it. They should have been working on it for months. So the fact is, we knew about this from the WHO when December 31st, 2019. So last year, we knew about this. We knew coronavirus is coming. We knew it was a respiratory disease. We knew it was person to person. Why is it that it's this week that the FDA finally approved these kind of new Abbott lab testing, which, by the way, is one test at a time? It's a great test, but it's one test at a time. It's different than the labs that are doing mass testing, right? So this is a wonderful test. Don't get me wrong, but it's one test per 15 minutes. That's wonderful, but it's not the same volume that you really need. This is better for kind of outpatient clinics and things like that. We needed this months ago. You look at Korea, Korea, South Korea and the U.S. had their first official confirmed case on the same date, January 19th. Mm -hmm. That means since January 19th, you look at what South Korea did and what we did. Their population is one sixth of ours. Look at the cases they have. Look at the mortality they have. It's a trifle compared to what we're dealing with right now because we've had a very weak response and they had a really strong response. Mm -hmm. Doctor, thank you. Very interesting to talk to you, Dr. Desai. Uh, hope you'll come back uh, as we move through this difficult sure. period in the country. Dr. Desai, thank you very much, sir.